Hey everybody, welcome back to Wesley Studios. Today, we're gonna to draw a flying bird. If you joined us before for the previous lesson, you learned how to draw a bird. Well, today, we're gonna to take the same idea and show you what a bird looks like when it's flying. Are you ready? Okay. So, what was the first thing that we drew with the other bird? It was the body, right? Well, when a bird's flying through the air, its body starts to take a different shape so that it can fly easier. So instead of a big circle, this time it's gonna be more flat looking, okay? And when you draw this circle, remember to draw it kind of lower on your paper so that you leave room for the wings later. Does that make sense? I'll show you what I mean. So this bird is flying through the air and now he's got a shape like that. Wow. Now, the next part is the head. Remember, the head used to sit on top, but when he's flying through the air, the head's forward. So we're gonna put the head right here, like that. Okay, that'll work. And remember that neck part we talked about before? Let's go ahead and put that neck in. When you're flying, that neck starts to help the air go from the head to the body into the back of the bird. Next part is the beak. Let's go ahead and put that beak in so we know where that bird is going. And remember the part that we made as beak two parts? There it is again. The eyes will be looking forward because that's where this bird is flying. So we're going to put a dot just like that. Okay. Now, the next part is the feet and legs. When a bird's flying, he doesn't really use his legs. He kind of keeps them tucked in up close to his body. But you can sometimes still see the feet, and they show up right about here. So there is the little foot down there. Okay, well that bird looks almost complete already, but it's still missing some parts. And remember the things that we have and the birds have, and then there are things that the birds have that we don't. And what are some of those things? Well, those are all the things that help a bird fly. So for instance, this bird needs a tail so it can help fly like an airplane uses its tail. So in this case, we're gonna put it this way and down like that. See that shape? Okay, and before we get started too far along, let's divide that just with one line right there. We'll come back to that. We're gonna draw all the feathers in later. But for now, the last part, this is very important. We're gonna draw the wing. So how a wing works is it's a bunch of feathers that collectively make up the wing. So all the feathers get together and they sit on an arm. The bird has an arm, kind of like us. All those feathers connect to it. So watch this puffin, for instance. See how she's gonna be flying? Imagine a bunch of wings, a bunch of feathers connected to that wing. All right, so we're going to draw, first part is we're going to draw that first wing in the background, just like that. Now that just looks like a line, but it's a lot more to it. We're going to draw another one, just like that. Wow, okay, well it kind of doesn't look like wings yet, but the reason why we drew those two lines is because it's going to make the bird like, look like it's flying forward. So the next part we want to do is we want to draw a nice line all the way like this. See that? It's a wing! So, the next one, here. Just like that. Okay, so right now, we pretty much have the outline for a bird flying through the air. But, as we know, birds are made up mostly of feathers on the outside, and all those feathers help it fly and and attract other people, other birds, and all kinds of things. So we're going to make sure we draw those feathers in. And let's start close to us here with the tail. Divide that space up by two, and divide that space up by two, and divide all those extra spaces again, just like that. So there's the beginnings of some feathers. See how they work? They fan out and help it fly through the air. Now the wing, let's go ahead and put the first set of feathers here, and then the next set of feathers is gonna be right here. Okay, so we need to put all the little individual feathers that 
underneath. Remember last time how they all connect and make one bird? Or one wing? Well, there you go. Now you've got them all drawn in. And you keep doing the same thing with the next row, just like that. And finally, the flying feathers on the very end of the wing, I'm going to go over here so I can draw them for you, are just like this. And as they get towards the end, they get longer, like that. See? Now, these, this wing actually comes in like this and connects right here, like it's arm, like a shoulder, kind of like our armpit. And then underneath, you have all of those feathers. And right now, I'm just gonna draw them in real relaxed and light, but you can draw any kind of style of feather you like, because there is no right or wrong answer for drawing a bird. There you have it, pretty much done. But let's do a couple of small details to give it some real character in life. This bird, remember, had a hairdo before. What happened to his hairdo? Well, now he's flying through the air, so that hairdo is going really fast, right? Cool, and then next to his eyes, he had some feathers as well. And well, I hate to say it, but this lesson is already over. You've learned how to draw your first flying bird. Next time, we'll do something even more fun and exciting with birds. But for now, I'm Professor Puffin, and this has been another episode of Art Class. Thank you so much, and we'll talk to you soon.